Good evening everybody and welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So it is Saturday the 21st of November and me and mum have decided Christmas has come early and we were supposed to decorate yesterday afternoon so I had a 7-1 shift and my anxiety was just too bad. It was just really flared up and I couldn't do it. So today is the day. It's a bit later on in the evening. I've had work today but I finished at 1 and... We're gonna put, well, mum's put up the Christmas tree and she's put up some of the decorations in the living room, but we're gonna put the Christmas tree decorations on and I'm gonna decorate my room as well. So if you watched last year's Christmas or even before that, you will recognize some of these. Look, um, it's got some cute, we've got gonks. Everyone's got gonks this year. They seem to be the in thing, but we've had gonks for ages. This is our Christmas tree, very, very bare. Cannot wait to transform that and Two more gonks. Would have seen we have decorated the tree which is super exciting we were jamming to loads of christmas songs the classics um and i'm just really excited so now i'm going to quickly dust my room and start tidying but i'm going to show you a couple of the bits that i've got um so i've got my christmas tree from the pound shop definitely recommend checking out your local pound shop if it's open for some good cute christmasy bits because my local pound shop was literally dead if it was going to be heaving i wasn't going to go in um so i'm gonna be setting up my christmas tree <laughs> which should be interesting because i'm not good at diy and this isn't even really diy but i'll still manage a way to botch it up but let's get christmas decorating in my room and turn it into santa's grotto so this is what my wooden block is looking like currently homemade sledges which is made by a lovely girl that i work with like look how cute they are one is for my grandma and one is for me i think i'm gonna keep this one because my grandma's theme of christmas is very red and gold and stuff so i'm keeping this one um then she's gonna have this one, but we're gonna keep them in the cellophane bags. But they have bells, but you've got to be really careful with them because they're so delicate. Um, and I'm also gonna be hanging on my Christmas tree this, which is also made by the same lovely girl at work. Um, it has my name, and I also got my grandma a special surprise made by this lovely girl as well. So let's start with this corner. <laughs> So, my little tree's looking a bit sorry. It's cute, but it's not how I really want it to look. Like, there's this thing I want to tweak about it. And the lights I got, which are these ones, are just a bit too much for it, to be honest. So, I've got to pick up another pack of the cheapy, like the cheapy ones from Poundland, because I've got little Christmas presents um, on there. So, I found all my other Christmas decorations, which I always store in boxes. So, I've got hanging ones that I'm going to hang on the walls. I've got cute little bits and pieces, got a few more decorations. I've got this really, I don't know why I always buy 
glittery Christmas decorations, but you know, and I've got a Christmas like Christmas pudding. Clandon Park, all garden centres really, but Clandon Park smash it when it comes to Christmas decks. Like, I'm sorry. But I did time lapse, or I thought I did do a tree, but hey ho. Um, but yeah, I've got cute little bits. The pound shop do some really good stuff. Like I got this from the Crown Pound Shop like a couple of years ago. Winter wishes and mistletoe kisses. Um, and I've got some more hanging ones from Clandon, which are really cute. Um, and this one, which is one of my faves, um, it's just such a beautiful, it's handmade. Like how gorgeous is that? Um, I've got some fire budge optic trees, whatever they're called. I've got a Santa's key, which I got from the pound shop. Like the novelty, come on, like I'm just a big kid. Um, and My phone died, which was such a shame, but I've got some M&S home, and the home, M&S stone baked pepperoni pizza. I've also got, don't mind the duster, my far, first very small glass of Chardonnay wine on my really cute Christmas coaster. Um, so yeah, I'll show you in depth my Christmas decorations I've done in my room in a minute, but I'm feeling very festive, but there is definitely more stuff to be bought, that's for sure. And I'm gonna edit my um, camera reveal this stuff is amazing i've been getting loads of tips from malika um so yeah love it um but i've got to do I'm gonna, yeah i've got to edit the video ready for monday um because tomorrow night i'm stripping my bed in i am showering and washing my hair and i say this but i'm doing a 12 hour shift so we'll see but hopefully because <laughs> i really need to strip this bed in because it's disgusting Little update here is the tree and then we've got everything lit up it looks super cozy and festive in here now her fairy light sorry for the not great quality but you know oh if i put the flash on it defeats the purpose i love these kind of things um so lots of fairy lights lots of sparkles and it's just really exciting some more fairy lights up there i know here we've got some more fairy lights got a little polar bear more because well, you can't really see now because it's just got really dark a little wreath um and this which once again we've had this little this little this this guy for a long time um and our card holder um so yeah it's really festive i'm really excited just oh look at that oh i miss the christmas tree i feel like it gets harder every year because the time goes so quick and you just have to take it down again that's just why this is the earliest we've ever put it up and i'm so happy about it look at that it's just so cute and then in my room i'm gonna open the two parcels as well um but in my room i feel so cozy as well it's not as like festive yet however this corner here's my little tree the santa's key a really cute snow globe i love snow globes especially at christmas little glass decorations which also came from the pound shop years ago and this cute little guy that i got not that long ago um i've got my two sledges one is obviously for me one's for my grandma i've got my little jar which isn't really christmas but it can be out for christmas my dear santa please stop here which i've had since i was a kid my noel my festive christmas candle because i just thought it goes really well with the, like the white theme um and if you didn't know the poundland well my poundland anyway did pink green and white mini christmas trees here i've got my winnie the pooh snow globe which i've had since 2008 which feels like a lifetime ago and this which was a tree decoration but i took the thread off it's not even these lights 
as you can see they're all bunched to one end but i just got so frustrated with them but i've got my glass of chardonnay i've got my noel which is also from the pound shop this snow globe which is a bit tacky i'm not gonna lie but that's from the pound shop um decorations from clandon on my as you can see the floor needs a good hoover which my mum's very kindly doing for me tomorrow very sort of like raggedy look at my hair definitely needs wash tomorrow dry shampoo will be used um in the morning but i'm really happy with how my room looks so far there's a couple of bits i need to put away and tomorrow night as i said i'm taking my bedding off and putting fresh bedding on and washing my hair make myself feel a bit more clean we're gonna buy some more bits from clandon when we go um and in december and also from the pound shop because they just have some really cute little bits but they won't be till after payday so i'm re-watching some gossip girl but i thought i would show you these packages because they are so super exciting um i as i said i'm reusing this box because how christmassy is it um it's perfect um and i have got this which is from sweet pea scrunchies and it's just gonna make me feel so festive perfect timing ever so i'm gonna open this box first um my grandma in case you're wondering is very kindly treating me to a chocolate advent calendar it's a tradition yearly and i don't think we ever grow out of those kind of traditions i did say she didn't have to and she said she really wanted to so but oh my god this is so exciting um so that is something that you don't need to see here it is folks it does give it away a bit on obviously on the thing but we have the revolution beauty advent calendar which let me tell you i've wanted for years ever since i started doing youtube watching advent calendar videos you know where people open them up honestly I just get too excited. We've got this, and look at the little touches. Um, so if you haven't watched my videos before where I've included Sweet Pea Scrunchies, which is run by Charlie, she's such a good supporter of my channel. She's such a lovely girl, and she runs a scrunchie business. So she orders fabrics and handmade these scrunchies. And I'm a carer, so I work long hours. I need my hair up, and I use her scrunchies all the time. And honestly, I rate them so much more than Primark scrunchies and things like that. Look, look cute because um, they keep my bun in all day and they're just really really good quality and i put them in the wash so many times so it's not affect the quality either so i definitely recommend them and she's at the moment got a massive 20 percent off sale i don't know whether she still will when this video goes up i've got so many videos to go up before this one um but yeah i'm so excited because now i've got all my christmas decorations up i thought this is the perfect time but i just they're so cheap and affordable and they're such good quality i just can't even oh look you get a scratch card good luck on your prize for your next order that is so cute and then her business card which i'm gonna keep for reference obviously i know it's got my name on but it says thank you so much for your order i hope you enjoyed them lots of love i'm gonna include that in a future giveaway just to spread the word because it gives you her etsy and her instagram um and i'll scratch that off in a minute um but look i hope all of this has been in frame but yeah and these, it's, that's just so cute. Look at that. Um, and I did like the offer. It's like two for five or four for ten. Um, so that's the offer I did. I got four. I'm so excited about it. Let me just film some um, Instagram stories of these because I promised her I would. Um, fully packaged. So it is Sunday, the 22nd of November. And I haven't long been in. It's quarter past eight and I work today. And I'm so tired because I had a danger nap yesterday of three hours because I finished at one. And I, I just I mucked up my sleep routine completely. However, as you would have seen, obviously, I've decorated my room, decorated the flat in general, and it feels so Christmassy and just brings me so much joy. Hopefully, the restrictions are easing in December. They've been talking about it on the news and on the radio and stuff, because obviously, I work in a care home, and the, like, residents' um, radios are always on, um, so you get brief, you know, snippets of what's going on. So hopefully, obviously there'll be tougher restrictions, but you'll still be able, you'll hopefully be able to go out and mingle in your bubbles again, kind of like we were before. And they're thinking about um easing like the curfew to they stop serving alcohol at ten, but they shut at eleven, which will be so much better, especially for December, Christmas. You know, being able to go out for Christmas meals and Christmas lunches and brunches and stuff. Um, and he's planning on coming back from uni as well, which should be really good. It'd be really lovely to see her. Um, and go out for lunch or dinner or something um obviously it's still going to be weird and this christmas is going to be very strange however it will still hopefully you know everything will still plan out got to turn my light on because oh it's so super cozy in my room it's giving off the best vibes i'm not gonna lie 
the candle that Amber got me in our autumnal swap, which is the mulled wine, which smells amazing. And if there's anyone, I doubt there is, but if there is anyone from America watching this, let me know if you're from America in the comments. Um, but I know you have Bath and Body Works, which is such an amazing company. I definitely want to buy stuff. I see Zoe Circle always buying stuff off them. I swear, like the, um, oh, what's it called? That charge you get, like the export charge, whatever it is, it's going to be so expensive. But this is my equivalent to having a Bath and Body Works candle, basically. That or Yankee Candle, which I've got one up there on my wardrobe. It just makes me feel like Christmas. And trust me, with how I'm feeling right now, I really need that. Um, oh my God, I'm going to show you. I'll turn the flash on. Um hear it crackling a little bit as well i want to get those wood something candles that you when you light it you can it sounds like a fire burn not fire burning but you know, like firewood burning um but yeah this one again balanced on top of my bed but i've been drifting off to sleep i've edited exported and uploaded onto private my big reveal video um so that's ready for tomorrow at 10 a.m but i am gonna go to sleep because i'm so freaking tired it is monday <laughs> um and it's the 23rd of november i'm starting to get excited because november's starting to come to a close slowly but surely and the festive month is nearly upon us although to be honest i'm already really festive and i'm gonna be festive now till boxing day to be honest um but you know so i don't sound like a crazy christmas obsessed person the Christmas month is nearly upon us um but i've got to get going because i've had the best night's sleep honestly it was well needed um put it that way like i haven't slept properly in the last like four days i've been working i've just been really really tired and that sleep was just what i needed however i woke up at like quarter past eight i'm like why why does my body do this to me why can't i lie until 10 o'clock however i've got so much i need to do so i've edited my um what's it called makeup collection that is now up on private with a thumbnail attached which is brilliant i'm then going to edit my oh someone's commented on my video oh thank you lola um just commented on my recent video which is my massive reveal of the canon camera that matt gifted me for our one year in christmas so i hope you all enjoyed that if you've watched it um but yeah i've got so much to do because i'm going to edit today my mr and mrs challenge that was pre-filmed before lockdown 2.0 um so that can go up and then i've got my cherry z haul and my poundland tool done my makeup i have washed my hair and i'm wearing a really nice bodysuit from boohoo i literally feel so much glamour than i felt this morning i just think because of my job and the fact that i just feel drained all the time and i need to work on myself anyway i just need to get glam when i can even if i have one day off just do some makeup because it's what makes me feel happy it's what works for me so yeah but i'm gonna film hopefully two christmas videos i'm gonna try and film my stocking fillers my well, one of my stocking fillers gift guides um because i'm gonna do um for her and for him but i'll probably do like a mini series of them because where i do some more christmas shopping through december i'm gonna find some more gifts so there'll be multiple parts of these videos and i'm gonna try and film my wish list video because I've freed up some storage on my phone from um, editing my camera reveal and also my makeup collection so I can fill out two more videos. Um, it's just going to be super exciting and there's no rush to how quick I need to edit them. As long as I edit my Cherry Sea Hall and my Poundland Hall, that's the main, they're the main priority. I have filmed my stocking gift guide video. I haven't filmed my wishlist video yet because I haven't really looked through what I'd like to ask for for Christmas. So I haven't filmed that video but i am just gonna tidy my room because it's like a bomb has hit it so we've got all of this to organize nightmare and where i obviously film in obviously this box can't get sorted until i sort out my christmas presents which i will be doing and all of that i've got my new work trousers to try on so a very exciting parcel which is from bg lashes which is bethany's brand i've got some christmas presents in here obviously i'm not gonna say who they're for but i've got some christmas presents in here boxes that's perfect for re-gifting oh my goodness me this is what we're looking at inside now if this gives you a rough estimate there's 60 pounds worth of products in here so oh my god look at these so we've got some lip bundles which have got hot lips raspberry is that lip scrub i'm not sure but this is a purple bundle it's really exciting we've got a yellow bundle which has some all sorts of scrunchy in as well i've got a blue bundle 
um, with her, one of her edible lip scrubs in. And I've got two brow kits in here, um, which has um, a brow serum for your brows and lashes, actually, a brow gel, brow soap, spoolies, and the dermaplaning treatment things to take off your peach fuzz, and some spoolie brushes. And I got two of these kits because I thought they'd be perfect for either swaps or for Christmas presents. And I might even order some more from her because um, her stock is running really low so i always share her on my instagram so if even by the time you see this if her stocks run out it's such a shame but make sure you just buy from her in general but obviously supporting small businesses at christmas is so important um and then we've got a green lip bundle as well um and oh she's added some little extras so we've got some creamy cookie strawberry flavor um creamy cookie double chocolate flavor i'm making up tea a um um, oh, it's open this way. Okay. This makes me so excited because although these Christmas these things aren't for me, it's really excites me. Ah, look. This is really exciting. So you get really cute little butterfly clips and some lashes. Honestly, her packaging for lashes is insane. I don't know what style these are. She doesn't have the style names. But it's like a little pamper box, I think. I think that's the idea of it. So you've got lashes, scrunchy little hair clips, a nose strip, face mask some little sweets and a face mask and brush um which is really really cute um and once again as i said perfect for swaps because these are really light so they're not going to make the box weigh anymore um and then this one i think's the same is it the same there's only one way to find out um oh no it's in, like it kind of is but it isn't so She's, I think that's really good. She's wrapped the lip oil so if they leak, they won't wreck any of the other products, which I think is really, really good. But look at her custom lip oils. These are made by her. All natural ingredients against animal cruelty and stuff like that. Got another scrunchie, another style of lash, which is different. Some more sweets, face mask and nose strip. So really cute gift, basically. I'm not going to let my hair get attached to stuff already. Um, so yeah, I think that's really, really cute. Um, and she does mystery bundles as well. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Um, so I've been in bed and I need, like, I had a very big nap and I actually feel so much better for it. I really needed it. I managed to get off work early, which is really nice. My hair is so matted. It's so bad. I need to brush it and wash it. Um, but tomorrow I'm dropping something off at Alex's door at a safe distance. Just a little box of goodies just to try and help her get through because everyone's struggled during lockdown. Like, she's okay, but it's just a nice thing to do. I did it for her before with the first lockdown and i want to do it again um and tea's coming home soon so i'm gonna say do the same thing for her which i'm really excited for and i'm gonna prepare that also tonight um because i've had a burst of energy i've edited my mr and mrs challenge which is going up on sunday because it is the what day is it today 27th of november i think i've already introduced this bit of the vlog i'm not too sure but yeah so i need to do that because now i've got my video ready to go up on private because tomorrow which is the 28th I've got my one year anniversary vlog going up with Matt, which I'm so excited about. So I've decided this is the box I'm going to be using for Alex's bits and pieces. Currently, I've got all the bits I bought in there from BG Lashes. And a couple of things that I am going to keep in here. I'm going to keep the um, creamy cookie biscuits. And I'm also going to keep, I think, the boom, the purple lip bundle. Um, that's going to be one of them um and then i'm gonna keep one of home with biscuits i said my memory is shocking one of these gonna be for tea's box um but i'm taking this at, these out they're gonna be some christmas presents for people including these as well so i'm gonna take those out so as you can see bethany saved me a lot of hassle by a providing me with some great christmas presents and c i think i said those ones um so that's what the box is gonna look like and then i'm gonna just time lapse putting the rest of it together Okay, so these are the items, and some of them, as you can see, the makeup items I was meant to give her ages ago before lockdown 2.0 happened. Um, so these are the bits, some Kiko palettes that she wanted and that I was getting rid of. Quite a few skincare products. These are two that I had but didn't use. Soap and Glory and Gilly Hicks. And then this, which has been sanitised, the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer. The Revolution Pro, I should have had it to have sanitised. And then, all brand new stuff. A load of this is from Cherry Z. 
you'd have already seen the haul. Um, an Isilium Isilum, Isilium Spa Collagen Face Mask Rejuvenates Skin. Because I thought, why not? Not that I think she has wrinkles. Um, and a little bit of a theme for a bit of a pamper during this really crazy time. Um, Beauty Formulas Charcoal Detox Cleansing Face Wash. And then the Cognac Facial Sponge, which just looks amazing. Um, then she loves her hair. So and she does amazing hair routine. So I thought I'd give her a little hair mask. We've got a hemp hand lotion, which is amazing for this time of year because it's so cold. Fruit pastels. I can't remember whether she actually likes fruit pastels or not, but I'm really hoping she does. Um, eyelash curlers, because I know she loves doing her lashes, and eyelash curlers are always necessary. Some antlers, because like they're just so cute. How can you not say they're cute? Um, and some fluffy socks. So I'm not wrapping anything, I'm going to be honest. I'm being really lazy. Um, but I'm going to do her a little note in here. And then that is the... Also, I'm going to include these, which are brand new, never been touched. Um, the Body Shop Body Butter, the Control Sleek, because she's really good with her hair. So just to help with that kind of stuff. And this really cute bath bomb, because I just haven't used it and it's still in date. So these are the bits and pieces I'm giving tea. So a couple of these were mine, but I've never opened them, never used them, and was thinking about regifting. So these Bior nose strips I've never used and I know she likes Bior skincare products so that's one thing and also the Body Shop Shea Butter Hand Cream um, and I did ask her if she likes wax melt so she's not too keen so that can go in a swap um, but I once again hair mask um, iced coffee, I'm pretty sure she likes iced coffee need to check with her actually um, the collagen face mask that Alex is getting as well eyelash curlers curly, curly cozy socks um an apricot facial scrub i thought why not and these snacks so the bag's probably not going to be big enough i haven't thought about this uh yeah okay we're gonna have to switch ideas because these things are quite bulky so this can go back it's going to be like really big to like really small to really big but so i know she's gonna like all of those bits and pieces because when I see her, um, I'm going to be giving her advent calendar. So her advent calendar will be a bit late, but that's fine. Um, it is what it is. It's better late than never. So that will be going in this bag as well. Let's get, as I said, I'll film it and show you all. So let me just quickly go ask her. She hasn't responded yet, so I'll let you know what she says. But I also nearly forgot to put these in. A little extra. This is going in. It's a bit broken. It's broken in half, but I am so damn sure she likes Terry's chocolate orange. So I'm just going to take a risk. Okay, glad I asked her. She does not like iced coffee, so this will be going in the swap. So if you've been watching my channel for a couple of years now, you'll know I've got lint advent calendars from my grandma, and they didn't do a white chocolate one on its own, so it's just an assorted amount of truffles, basically. The only one I know I won't like is the dark chocolate. Um, so I'm out my handbag to try and put my washing away, but these are the chocolates I'm on about. I don't know how you pronounce them, I say Ghislaine. I don't know how you're an amount they're pronouncing, but I'll get these in the pound shop. They're so good. So tonight I'm now gonna edit my Poundland haul and probably try and do some of my Cherry Z haul because so many people have been messaging me going, You did all your Instagram stories, have you done a haul? Yes, it's a 48 minute video. Hopefully I can cut it down because there's definitely rambling and bits I can just cut out of it. But it's gonna take me a fair little while because I'm very much of a perfectionist when it comes to editing because it's taken me a long time to film, like it took me an hour and a half to set everything up for both of the Poundland Hall and, you know, the um, Cherry Z Hall. And I just want to make sure that it's all sorted. 